And we're back, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate that. Today, we're going to play a little bit of Fallout New Vegas. And it's been a while since I've played this. Probably five years ago. And I thought, well, why not get back into it? install a bunch of mods and then uh, have some fun but the problem with New Vegas is that it's probably the worst game to mod because to this day Fallout New Vegas is still a buggy and an optimized mess it really is and when you're starting out with mods installing mods for Fallout New Vegas be ready to install a whole bunch of patches. You'll need to bring it up to speed to give it more memory to work with, to fix some bugs and glitches. So it's really awful. And you shouldn't really go overboard with the mods, you know, staple one mod over the other. It, it, it really it's not good to do it like that. I advise against that. Because it's gonna break your game. There are gonna be freezes, there are gonna be crashes. And this is, the, I think, the third time that I've actually installed Fallout New Vegas and reinstalled mods, so consider this a test video. So let's start the character creation. A new game. And skip the introduction. All right. So the game is going to initialize a whole bunch of mods. Here we go. Fallout New Vegas bounties. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? So as you can see, Doug Mitchell has a different appearance than in the vanilla New Vegas. That's because I've installed a texture mod by Drag Body. I'm gonna call myself Rick. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. What's wrong with my name? Doug Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, Thank you very much. I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. I mean, it's really immersive, you know. How'd I do? The thing is that even though it is a buggy mess, it's still one of my favorite RPGs ever. I don't know, let's just go with a pre-made character. Red Lucy, why not? Whatever. Bald? Nah. It's a pre-made character. Yeah, sure. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. I really like the... Take it slow now. It the new model. I haven't installed a whole bunch of texture mods. Not for the wasteland, that is. Mostly because they'll they break your game. You'll, you'll see weird stuff in the wasteland. Ooh, looking good so far. 
Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Well, as you can see, I'm also using a... Like a... How do you call that? A UI mod? User interface? Darnified UI. Gives you a whole lot of information on the screen, as you can see. My karma, XP, radiation, that sort of thing. Alright. Add a little bit of strength. I like perception for the lockpicking skill. And also, a bunch of charisma. I'll lower my intelligence for that. Intelligence is just overrated. I like to be the movie star. Here we go. This should do the trick. Good to see them bullets didn't affect your charm none. Mm-hmm. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter than a bighorn or dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. It's really interesting because he will comment differently depending on the choices you make here with the Vigor machine. So let's sit down. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Dog. Kick. House. Demolish. Night. Silencer. Bandit. Vaporize. Light. Torch. Mother. Human shield. Regret. Cookie jar. Jeans. Caretaker. Let's let's stay a little bit positive here. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Ain't in my nature. Strongly disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Um, I do rely. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Oh, sure. Strongly agree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. No, I'm not slow. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Mm, yeah. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Pooh. What is this? Huh. I don't know. A broken chain. Okay. How about this one? I'm embarrassed to say. Last one. Uh, I, I see two elephants together. But, um, that's not a choice here. So, light and darkness. Well, that's all she wrote. Who's she? don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. All right. See if it all seems right to you. Here we go. Energy weapons? No, no. Guns, lockpick, and speech. Yeah. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expected to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Just so funny, you know, this game. Hoarder and skilt, whatever. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. All right. Now it's interesting, you can loot Doug Mitchell's house doesn't count as stealing if I pick some stuff up here. And there should be... A footlocker here. As you can see, I have a loot mod that allows you to hoover over a container. And it'll sh say what's in there. Without giving you that whole... Like, uh, men menu in your face. So, also does this little animation. Body pin, stim pack. It's like in Fallout 4. It's same thing. All 
Alright, some ammo. Don't think there's a lot more here. Maybe in the fridge. Whatever. Some stuff. What's in here? Ah! The sink. The toilet. I think we're pretty much done here. And let's talk to the dog. One more time. Here. These are yours. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults in made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. All right, thank you for patching me up. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Alright, cool. I'm not gonna play hardcore mode, no. And, whoa! Delivery. Whoa! Holy crap, that gave me a fright. This guy just popped right through the door. Ain't that a kick in the head. So, it's gonna initialize uh, some more quests. All right, we'll wait for that. And then head outside. Hopefully it won't crash. Oh, there we are. All right, some more quests to install. I'm also using the Wasteland Relight mod, Relighting the Wasteland mod. Also, I'm gonna bring up the Pip-Boy. And my pistol. There are some custom animations, as you can see. I like it when I hold the... Uh, gun up there. Like this. What's wrong with the, the sky, by the way? Uh, that's not so good. Oh, now it's gone? All right. Well, that's changing, it seems. So yeah, expect some glitches when you're playing with mods. That's the case. But so far, so good. I'm, I think I've got 20, or no, 32 mods installed. I've got a bunch of workbenches here. All right. Can break it down. Repair skill is needed. Another workbench. We'll get into that later, probably. Oh, where's the metal fella? He went somewhere. Well, we'll talk to him later. Let's talk to this guy. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Well, what about the people that attack me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. All right. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. 
The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. I remember that. Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. So you're kind of retired, I guess. So we have the NCR. Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. All right, so we have Legion as well. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. All right. What do you do? Digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, camps, spare parts. Good money in it. All right. Goodbye. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Right. I remember that. Anyway. We're going to go inside. Check what's going on. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. All right. I need to go to Prim. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. All right, I will. This is Sunny Smiles, also custom texture character mod. Looks really nice. Hmm, a little short on caps. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. All right, nice. You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Put too much pressure on them, and they'll snap. Cool. I'll take a closer look. To help someone down on their luck. Anyway, Doc Mitchell said I could. Uh, you could teach me some ropes. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside behind the saloon. Ooh, that sounds like a proposition. Meet you behind a saloon. We're gonna do that. All right. Now, if I try and steal something here, this probably counts as stealing, yeah. Yeah. Won't be doing that. Okay. So if you want to mod your New Vegas game, then I think it's a good idea to watch those videos made by Gopher. He made a video, quite detailed video, about how to install Vortex, because I do advise you to use Vortex. And his videos where he explains how to install the more essential mods that he uses for his playthroughs. 
Okay. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Yeah. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. No problem. I'll do that. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? All right. Okay, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. All right. We'll do. We'll do. I'll just follow. Because, yeah, GoFer made a whole bunch of videos. Which are really good. Really good videos. How to explain uh, how to install Vortex. How to install mods. Which one's first, which are next. I think they ha he made a series of like five five videos recently or not too long ago maybe a month or two especially in fallout new vegas those are really good all right time to shoot some geckos how long is it or how far is it let's see So far, so good. Everything looks fine. I'm very happy with the look and feel of it. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Mm-hmm. We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. It must be up there somewhere. There's one. There we go. Let's use the VAT system. 49%, 82. We'll do that. Ooh! Oh, I missed. Ooh! Good grief. Well, it worked. Do they carry anything? Gecko meat? All right. Getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Um. Sure. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Why not? went well is there anything interesting at those wells just a well not much else all right where the hell is she Doing it all by herself. What is that? A bandit? Whoa! <laughs> What's this bandit doing here? Settler. Oh, it's a settler. I thought a bandit. Oh, 
hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Mm hmm. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some xander root and a rock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen rock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. So what about that school building they're all talking about? I mean, everybody was talking about the school building. All right, so we're going to go back to Prim. Uh, Prim. No. Good Springs. Jeez. It's been so long since I've ever played this. Is there a way to run? How do I do that? I don't even know. Like if I press caps key, it really slows down to crawl, basically. Running, what's the running key? Controls, action mapping, left shift. All right, pressing left shift, but it's not. I'm not running. Am I carrying too much already? No, I can't. That cannot be true. The weight is 102 of 225. I should be able to run fast on this. What am I missing? Something's. Wrong. Should be able to run. Because if I press left, it really slows down. Or should I? Just what if I? No, still very slow. What is going on? How's this for running? Could be me. That it's just a slower game, but... Anyways, we're gonna go and check out that school building. I think it's up there. There might be some critters. And we should, in fact, use the metal armor, because that's probably the best one I got for 12 da uh, damage threshold. How does that look on me? Good grief. Is that me? I don't look that good. Is this my neutral stance? Maybe that's the problem. Like I'm, I'm... How do I un... Um... Oh, good spring school. Good. Alright, well... Let's uh, pick up... Um, the shotgun. It's probably going to be useful. Whoa! There's a... Little enemy. Alright. Let's clear out this joint. Oh.
That's super easy. Ah! What do we have? Alright, we're gonna... Try and open this thing. A little bit to the left. Oh, here we go. Ooh, bottle caps, a knife. Stealth boy, super stim pack. What? Whoa! I mean, why? Okay, when it's open, can open the locker, but there's nothing in there. Okay. All right. So, seems like we've cleared out the school building. Is there anything else here? Coffee mug, cup. I don't think so. Oh, there's actually a computer. Broken terminal. Let's check this thing out. All right. What about... Uh, okay, server. No? All right. Wrench. There's not a whole lot here, actually. Wonder glue. Yeah, seems like we've cleared the whole place out. All right, well, we'll go outside then. Here we are. Wow, how do I miss? That's stupid. a little bit too much all right so um yeah hello hey victor howdy partner might i say you're looking fit as a fiddle oh thank you and thank you for uh, digging me out don't mention it i'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need ah uh, good to know how um did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. All right. Do you know who these men were? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town not be able help you out with that oh really let's see i'm a securitron robco security model 2060b if you ever see any of my brothers tell them victor says howdy all right we'll do happy trails we'll do we'll do how do i um put away my gun i don't just don't know it's been so long Let's see. Ready, reload, block, activate. Sneak, jump, wait, that's grab. Is that a key? That's Z. That's weird. I kind of look weird now because, I mean, my stance is like, like this. I'm not sure if that's... How I want to look like. Anyway. It's still moving so slow. Why can't I run? Anyway, we'll um, figure it out. Hello! Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. Alright. Hey there. None taken. All right, we're gonna go back to the saloon. Check out if there's anything else we might have missed. Oh, run down buildings. Might be some interesting stuff around. Pencil. 
paper, empty, bottle, crate, something, dirty water, foot locker, some pills. Oh, what is this? A BB gun. We'll take that. Iron. Not a whole lot of stuff here. Yeah. So far, I've not experienced any crashes. None whatsoever. So I'm pretty happy how things are running right now. Yeah. Let's see, where's the saloon? I'm going to go back to the saloon and sort of end this video. See if there's uh, any other characters to talk to. Maybe some more questing. Uh, Sonny gave me another quest. I'm sure. So... This depends on which one I'm going to do. By the campfire on the trail. Find... Flower and root somewhere. Let's see. On the... On the cemetery. We'll check that out. At some point. But things are looking up. Things are looking good. Can go inside here? No. Evening. Yeah. Well, there's nobody at the bar right now, just that same guy. If you're looking for supplies, chat over at the general. Oh yeah, chat. I should head over to chat. For a chat. Maybe I could buy some supplies there. Alright. Hello, chat. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. Way I heard sure am. I think you'd be walking out of that office. I did. Got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. Really? If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Good to know. Show me what you got. All right, I'm interested in those mods you we're talking about. I don't see him. How come this guy said that he had mods for sale? Obviously he doesn't. Although a whole lot of other stuff. Well, I'm gonna sell you. Armored Vault 13 jumpsuit. I'm going to sell you the leather suit. Tribal rating armor. Jumps. So I got 231 caps. I accept that. That's good. Anything else? Not at this point. Grenade rifle. It, all right. Thanks. Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him. Probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest. On account of them being enemies with the NCR. Really? Interesting. So we have the NCR, we have Kaisar and his legion. And now we have the Great Khans. They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Khans deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Khans. Alright. To the drug dealers. Alright, goodbye. Take it easy now. Thanks. Anyway... Here's where we end the video. Things are looking up. And, uh, yeah. Having a blast. So thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.